Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at the Hex Ranger DSLR sling bag as well as the Ranger camera mini sling. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see and you're interested in this sort of content, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and also subscribing to our newsletter. Let's dive right in and check out the Ranger sling bags from Hex. Now, Hex is a carry company that's been around for just over a decade now. They've been making backpacks, camera bags, everyday carry gear. Today, we're looking at some of their more popular sling offerings, the Ranger camera slings. Okay, so we're looking at the standard Ranger DSLR sling. This comes in a water-resistant Cordura nylon. Now, we're not 100% sure what density or what denier that Cordura nylon is. If you do know, let us know in the comments below. But as for other hardware, we've got YKK zippers, as well as some plastic hardware. Now the Ranger bags come in a number of different colorways. Here you can see this is the camo colorway in this nice green camo. We've also got a rubberized brand patch here from Hex that just has a little bit of their branding and brand language as well. If we take a look at the base of the bag, you can see these compression straps here that you can use to compress down on the bag if you're carrying white, but you can also use this to carry additional gear on the outside. Maybe a little tripod or maybe a little monopod, anything like that, a little rain jacket, you can just slip that through, cinch it down, and you have gear externally on the base. Also on the sides here, we do have these side compression straps that also help you compress down the load, especially if you want to take this bag traveling, you can cinch this down flat and keep it inside your rolling luggage or your duffel, whatever it is, and then take this out once you arrive at your destination just for a little day bag, you can do that as well. If we come and turn around to the back of the bag, the harness system and carry strap, we've got simple nylon seatbelt type webbing here for the strap itself, and then we've also got this shoulder pad here, which has nice padding, and there's an air mesh wicking here to wick away moisture, keep it breathable as well. You can slide the shoulder pad along any of the carry strap there, so wherever you're carrying it on your shoulder, you can bring this up so that it's properly resting on your shoulder. But just slide that out. We've actually also got our buckle here, our quick release side compression buckle here from YKK. And then on the sides here, we've got two adjusters so that you can adjust the strap slack and also how tight or how loose you want to carry it on your back. Another small little feature to note about the wings of the carry strap is that these wings actually conceal a hidden Velcro compartment here. So just a hook and loop closure there. If you just open that up, you could store in a quick battery or a quick compact flash SD card, anything like that that you just want to keep quick access to you in case you run full on your cards. You can quickly change that without getting into the bag. So that's a nice little feature there. Just uses that much dimension of the wingspan, so the entire space there, and you've got that same pocket on the other side as well. So maybe you want to have cards on one side, a spare battery on the other, just in case having that quickly accessible to you when you're shooting. Looking at the back panel here, it is padded and it does share the same padding from that tablet compartment that we'll take a look at later. So it does have a lot of padding here for comfort. No breathability here per se, but you are carrying an eight liter sling bag. So you don't really need too much padding, too much breathability because it is a fairly light sling. And then of course you've got this little nylon carry strap here that you can use to grab the bag up and off the ground. And then just underneath that in this little hook and loop closure here, we've actually got a hideaway rain fly. So this Ranger DSLR sling is actually a V2 variant. It's got some upgrades and one of those upgrades is this hideaway rain fly. So this is just a simple little rain cover that you wrap around the bag to protect it from any rainfall in case you get caught in a downpour. You can just quickly cover the bag up, protect your camera equipment inside the bag, not let any water or moisture get inside there. So that's really helpful. And then for further security, just at the top of that rain fly, we've got this little Velcro strip here. You actually put that down over there so that you can have it fully attached to the bag. It doesn't accidentally fly off or whatever. You've got that secured down via Velcro when you wrap it around the bag. So very handy. And then when not in use, simply just pack it away inside this little compartment here. But you know, if for whatever reason it doesn't rain or you know it's not gonna rain based on the forecast or anything like that, you can actually use this little compartment to store additional gear. So you can take that rain fly out and store other items in there. Maybe you wanna put some filters in there, whatever have you, you can use that compartment for additional storage. Speaking of compartments, let's get into it. We've got one on the front here. This is actually a quick access compartment for your phone or your sunglasses. I would say it's probably better for a phone because it's just away from a crowd 
brush zone sort of area. So here we have a fleece lined compartment here that I've stored my iPhone 12 with a moment case. It uses the entire dimension here, so you've got plenty of space for whatever phone you have. And then on the front here, we've got a small administration compartment, a few little slip pockets for you to store gear, and then also a few mesh pockets. So just starting from the left, I've just got a little bit bar here from Big Idea Design. I've also got an Olight flashlight. And then here there is a little key leash that you can tether your keys to. So I've just got my Orbit key attached to that. In the next mesh compartment, I've just got a few moment cases. So my anamorphic lens, my tele lens, and then on the very right, a smaller one, I've got my wide lens there. So there's two big mesh slip pockets and then a smaller one just on the right there. Behind that, we've got two larger slip pockets here. In one of them, I've just got an Oz Air face mask and the other one, I've got some Jaybird Vista 2 earphones as well as a Bellroy flip case for my cards and cash. So a fair bit of organization there for your little small bits and pieces. And now we'll get on to the main compartment here. This is using a number 10 chunky YKK reverse coil zipper. Here you can see this main compartment, it has these adjustable and customizable dividers. So depending on what camera loadout you have, you can adjust these dividers just to give you a bit of segmentation. Here obviously is a space where I would put my Canon 6D. And then over here, I've got an 85mm lens as well as a Loom Cube light and a Peak Design camera strap. And then I've also got my Peak Design lens kit as well as a capture clip. So like any camera compartment, you've got this fleece lining here to protect all your gear. It's nice and padded, it's thick, so it'll protect your camera equipment. You've got these two dividers here. So we've got one there and it can be, you know, kind of folded and bent to your liking depending on what you're carrying. We've got the exact same one here on the side there as well. So two identical dividers. And then at the very bottom, I've actually placed the final divider which serves as the base of the bag just for extra protection. So this is just one big liner of padding there for the base of the bag. Now, so if you are traveling, you can actually lay these down flat, keep it nice and flat packed so that when you put it into your bag, you have a lot of space for your other essentials if you wanna go down that route. And then at the top here, we've got a zippered compartment that just stores some other gear. So I've got my Pelican SD card case and then I've got a Sony microphone recorder here. Now at the back, as mentioned, there is another zippered compartment. This is the tablet sleeve. You can see that fleece lining there, very soft, very plush and padded. You can store an iPad mini in there. You can't store anything bigger than that. You can store an Amazon Kindle, maybe even a Nintendo Switch if you wanted to, but just keep in mind, this is up against your back, so you kind of want to be protective of what you're putting in there. You don't want it to be poking out and sticking into your back, so you want to keep things relatively thin inside there. Before we get into the camera mini sling, the watch from today's video is the Boulder Venture Field Medic timepiece. It is a really unique timepiece. It's got graduated scales to mark out pulsations as well as respiration rates. If you want to check this out, there is a link in the description below. So let's check out the camera mini sling. This is a 2.5 liter sling, so a drastic volume capacity difference compared to the standard Ranger DSLR sling. That's an 8.5 liter sling, so this is 2.5. It is the same nylon Cordura, but it does have a water resistant coated canvas feel to it. It still has YKK zippers and a plastic buckle. It's still got that hex branded rubberized stamp there on the front. And as for the organization, the layout, the features, most of them are the same, but obviously because of the downgrade in size, you will miss out on some of the features that we saw in the previous sling bag. So at the base, we've still got those compression straps that you can store in additional gear on the outside. If we turn to the back of the bag, we've still got a little bit of padding on the back panel. Not as much because there's no tablet sleeve on the back there to provide extra padding. You've still got a nylon grab handle at the top here, but you don't have that hideaway rain fly there. So that's something that you miss out with this size. On the sides, we still have those Velcro compartments on the wings of the carry strap. So you can still store SD cards, batteries and whatnot inside those small little pockets there. On the carry strap itself, we still have a buckle in the middle and two adjusters on the side. But as you can see, there is no adjustable shoulder pad there for extra comfort. And this is a 2.5 liter sling. You probably don't really need that shoulder padding there. So it's not too bad. On the side, we've still got those compressors strap so you can cinch down this bag if you want to. Now as we get into the compartments of the bag you'll notice that it is kind of similar to the overall layout as the previous one. So we've still got this front zippered compartment that can store your phone. It's still fleece lined so I've still fit my 
iPhone 12 in a moment case in there, although it's a much tighter fit just because everything else is kind of crammed in. So it can still fit an iPhone 12 in there, but you probably won't be able to fit an iPhone 12 Pro. We get into the next compartment here. We've got that same sort of layout where we have little slip pockets and mesh slip pockets for your gear. Just in the middle, I've got an Osea face mask. We've got three slip pockets here, but just I've got one in the middle. Again, this is the Jaybird Vista 2 wireless earphones. I've got my Bellroy flip case for my cards on one slip pocket here. And then on the other side, I've got my Big Idea Design bit bar, as well as my Olight torch. And then we've got that same key tether that you can attach your keys to. Now, as we get into the main compartment, one thing I forgot to mention about both of these bags is that just on the edges there, we do have these counter pulls that you can use to just hold onto the bag while you open this compartment, if that makes sense. Just gives you better control, better access over this compartment. As we open this up, again, we've got that blank space there for a camera. And you can see the internal compartment is smaller, obviously. We've still got two dividers here that you can use to segment your items. So just getting stuff out, I've got that Peak Design camera strap. And then I've also got the same Loom Cube portable light. We just grab out the dividers. They're not exactly the same. So we've got one large divider and then we've also got a smaller divider here. So it's slightly different. At the base, we've still got that large panel for the bottom of the bag, and that's all we have in that main compartment there. We've still got a zipper on the top here that you can store some small items, so I've just got my Sony recorder there. And that's all we have for this main compartment. Again, this is a smaller compartment. You might wanna use this for traveling if you only have a simple hobby camera, like a mirrorless camera, anything like that. You don't have a full kit that you need to bring with you. You could use a sling like this. But as mentioned, if you've got a bigger kit or you wanna carry some camera gear as well as other travel gear, you might wanna go for the larger standard Ranger DSLR sling. Okay, so these are the bags on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10", and this one is the standard Ranger DSLR sling. And this is the smaller camera mini sling. Everyone, there you have it, the Hex Ranger DSLR sling and the mini camera sling. Both of these bags are capable in their own right. They have good organization and they have that modularity to suit whatever you're carrying camera wise. And if you do have a larger camera, photo video kit, you might want to go for the standard size, or if you're just going for a small mirrorless kit, you might want to go for the mini sling. Either case, if you're interested in getting any of these bags, there are affiliate links in the description below. If you choose to use those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel, so we appreciate that. And if you want to support us further, hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to our channel, and subscribe to our newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these bags? What do you think about these sling bags compared to other camera sling bags there on the market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see more videos from us check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video But for now, these are the Ranger camera DSLR slings from Hex. Take care until next time